Sherry Langell is hospitalized here at Nebraska Medicine in stable condition. Investigators have said very little about how she was shot, how her husband died, and what happened in those six days after that confrontation in the couple's home. Investigators still searching through the Langell home, looking for answers surrounding Carl's death and how Sherry survived almost a week with a bullet in her head. Wednesday, Sarpy County sheriffs arrived at the couple's Papillion home to check on them. They found Sherry in the basement. They say Carl shot her with a 22 caliber pistol on December 7th. Officers found him dead in the garage of carbon monoxide poisoning on December 13th. Friends of Sherry's. Mm. Just a little overwhelmed. Shocked. Yeah. To hear the news. Trudy Lemon worked with Sherry at a thrift store. She had a big heart, very big heart. When it comes to people in need, she was always there, always. Reminiscing about better times, thankful she survived. This I would have never guessed would have happened. You know, um, yeah, she was a real good woman. Hearing the news, Lemon couldn't help but think of Sherry's faith and her devotion to others. And I knew she had that God in her, you know, because I believe that's what kept her going. Yeah, he wasn't ready to take her yet. We're told Sherry was conscious and alert when medics arrived on scene. She had surgery yesterday to remove that bullet from her head, and authorities are hoping to speak with her as she recovers to learn more about what led up to that shooting. Reporting live at Nebraska Medicine, Sarah Feely, KETV News, Watch 7.